Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up this week, NASA touches an asteroid, a dinosaur has a parasite, and genes. Starting off the news this week, NASA's OSIRIS-REx craft has managed to succeed in its efforts to complete a complicated manoeuvre to allow it to pick up rock from the surface of an asteroid called Asteroid Bennu. While the manoeuvre was completed, it is yet unknown whether or not any rock was successfully picked up, with the team hoping to have picked up at least 60 grams of material. The mission launched all the way back in September 2016, and is expected to return on the same month in 2023. Asteroid Bennu has been described as a time capsule from the very birth of our solar system, so it'll be incredibly exciting to see what scientists can get from this data in a few years. Up next is an amazing study on the scimitar-toothed cat, Homotherium, in which the nuclear genome and exome of the animals were analysed, finding that this was an incredibly divergent lineage from all other cats that branched off about 22.5 million years ago, and doesn't seem to have interbred with any other cat species since then. Additionally, certain genes seem to have been selected for which indicate this cat was a daytime hunter with well-developed social behaviour that hunted prey by chasing them down at speed. The study also discovered relatively high genetic diversity among these animals, suggesting that Homotherium was actually more abundant than it appears to have been from fossils alone. And now over to Ben, who's going to talk to you about something very important. Thanks, Doug. Also in the news this last week was the naming and description of a brand new species of Abelisaurid from Argentina, Niebla antiqua. The specimen this new species is based on was a fully grown adult when it died, and was medium sized for an abelisaurid dinosaur. It's known for material such as an almost complete brain case, bits of the jaw and teeth, parts of the pectoral girdle, some ribs, and partial vertebrae. Niebla was much smaller than Carnotaurus and Abelisaurus, which lived at the same time, but shares features of the scapular coracoid with Carnotaurus that are different to all other abelisaurids, potentially hinting at a unique shape of this girdle in these South American members of the clade. So a very nice discovery indeed. And finally for the news this week is the incredible discovery of the first fossilised parasites preserved inside the vascular canals of a non-avian dinosaur. The bones come from an elderly titanosaur from the upper Cretaceous of Brazil, and show that this individual was suffering from osteomyelitis. Additionally, tens of parasites were found preserved within the vascular canals of this bone, which appear to have been the cause of lesions observed on the specimens meaning this might be the earliest record of an infectious bone disease caused by parasites, a remarkable discovery. Back to Doug in the studio. Thank you, Ben. Well, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday.